Hey YouTube, BR Tidwell 55 here. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of Linux Mint Debian Edition. Uh, you saw my last video, I was embarking on a project to try to roll my own sort of distro for and just include the stuff that I liked. I decided to use uh, Debian as a base and then build from there. And one of the things one piece of software that I wanted instead of the uh, I started with uh, Debian with the LXDE desktop uh, but I I really like the cinnamon desktop from Linux Mint so as I spent all day you know adding different arc uh, at adding different repositories and then trying to compile it from source and then basically utterly failing every time I realized the work's already been done for me. You know, if I want a, a Debian distribution with the Cinnamon desktop on top of it, well, Linux Mint DE is already there. So I downloaded it, I installed it. I've been playing around with it. You know, I'm, you know, trying to decide. You know, is, is this something that I want to use for my production, uh, for my production OS? Uh, so you might be asking, what's the difference between Linux Mint uh, Debian Edition and uh, regular Linux Mint? The difference is mainline Linux Mint, uh, like the current the current uh, distribution, is Linux Mint 16 Maya. Linux Mint 16 uh, Linux Mint has always been based on uh, the current Ubuntu distribution and their release cycle syncs with uh, Ubuntu's release cycle. So Linux Mint 16 came out a little bit after uh, Ubuntu 13.10 came out because Linux Mint 16 is based on Ubuntu 13.10. Uh, probably before the end of the month is out, Linux Mint 17 will be out and it is b and Linux Mint 17 will be based on uh, the version of Ubuntu that just came out last week. Uh, Ubuntu itself is based on Debian testing. Well, what Linux Mint Debian Edition does is it sort of takes the Ubuntu middleman out of it, and it does not include any Ubuntu packages. It is it has it uses the packages from the the Debian testing branch and its own Linux Mint packages. So, uh, so, and. and Linux Mint Debian Edition is designed to be a rolling release, so instead of every six months or every six to eight months a new edition coming out and you either upgrade or install a new edition, you know, it just checks on its packages, you know, however often you set it to test its pa uh, to check for package upgrades, and it upgrades to packages. You know, and you run this long enough, one day a new kernel will come out and you'll update the kernel and then you'll restart and that's just the way rolling releases work. Uh, superficially uh, this is what you get when you when you first run it. Uh, not a whole lot of difference from the start screen that you get on a fresh install of say Linux Mint 16. You notice a little uh, Debian logo next to the Linux Mint. Uh, software it comes with uh, straight away look at that one click and I can see all of my software Wow. yeah I installed Google Chrome last night it doesn't come with that it comes with LibreOffice it comes with uh, it comes with uh, Brazaro for disk burning and VLC uh, media player it comes with all the codecs uh, that you want it passes the YouTube test uh, administration uh, you know you go to your settings window and here we go you know it's the uh, same as what you'd see in pretty much the same as what you'd see inside uh, mainline Linux Mint I mean there are some differences if there are like I said, this does not include any Ubuntu repositories or software that only resides on Ubuntu repositories. Like the, there's a uh, disk utility that's in mainline Linux Mint that's not here. Uh, so, 
you know, it's it's little things like that uh, that that are differences. Overall, uh, pretty neat spin on uh, on on, uh, on baseline Debian. Uh, I would say though, I don't recommend. I wouldn't recommend this one for the new Linux user. Uh, I think uh, you know if you want something, if you're looking for a straight up a Windows XP replacement, uh, because this is based on uh, Debian testing, uh, there's some rough edges around it, and uh, so you know you may go install software and you may find some dependency uh, issues uh, so I don't recommend this for the new Linux user for a more advanced Linux user it's been using a while uh, probably no issues with it uh, so you know hey uh, you know my prejudices. I, I I like Linux Mint overall, and uh, so yeah, I think uh, if you don't mind uh, being a little experimental, this might be a pretty good one for you to try out. This is BR Tidwell 55. Thanks for watching.